Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on our transaction flow report. This report is designed to be used each day to ensure that your staff are balancing all payments and refunds that they've processed throughout the day. This report can also be used to make any corrections to mistakes that have been made. When it comes to running reports in Newbook, your report settings will be listed below where you can see the date options that you would like to view and on the right you have your output. So if you are wanting to print, PDF is always the version that you'd place it in. Alternatively, if you want to export it to CSV or Excel, you simply click on these options here. We highly recommend that on any report that you run in Newbook, if there are display options for advanced, to click into this option and have a look at what you're able to customize within each report as you can really adapt it to your business needs. Lastly, I would like to note down that in the top right corner, if you are wanting to adjust the column configuration on a report and you have access to column configuration here, click on this one and it's going to show you what columns are currently displaying on this report and what can be added in on the right hand side and simply selecting the plus or removing the minus and saving your adjustments here. If we simply want to run this report for the day, we select run report. You'll see we have a total summary at the top of all of our transactions grouped by our payment methods. You'll also have the way in which the actual transactions have been processed. So manual payments such as cash, check or direct bank deposit into your account will be listed in your manual entry. For those of you with a credit card gateway integrated, you'll also have an additional column that's going to show any payment that's been processed via the gateway. This is generally going to be your online booking payments that have come in from your website or potentially credit card gateway transactions processed by staff member through the Newbook system. In addition, for anyone that does also have an integrated FPOS solution, you'll have an extra column that will outline any payments that have been processed through that integrated payment terminal. Lastly, we have our totals listed on the right and our grand total. If we are wanting to cross-check and balance our transactions, we can then head down to our list of transactions below. We can see manual entry is listed here. If we notice that one of these payments was incorrect, we can simply click the pencil icon next to the transaction and that's going to allow us to adjust the payment in the new book system and because we're processing the adjustment on the day that the payment was made, it's simply going to update and correct that automatically in the system. So you can see it's reloaded to show that our cash is 715 here. We also have our demo credit card gateway tab that is listed in this section. Please note credit card gateway values cannot be adjusted. If you have overcharged or undercharged, you would need to do either an additional payment or process a refund for those transactions. If you are wanting to print, simply change the output below to PDF. You can also choose to email a once-off copy to a particular user and simply email and run the report. You'll see that queues the email and loads that PDF where we can either print it in the top or even download to store on our computer. If you are wanting to automate your reports and you have our signature package, you will be able to utilize our scheduled reports feature to send this to any specific user that you have set up in the new book system. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on our transaction flow report. Remember, if you do have any additional questions, you can also click on the question mark icon when on this report and it will show you some additional articles and info on this feature. Otherwise, please do not hesitate to reach out.